Hi, this is Heather Straczynski and Danielle Rodriguez. We're with Roundtable Realty. And this is another episode of This Really Happens in Real Estate. You want to say it? Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah. <laughs> we come in contact with all kinds of pets, we do. right? We don't love let pets. the cat out. You know, yes. the dogs are locked in the cage. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the birds. The birds could be, you know, flying around in the kitchen or something. I mean, anything. So we've we've pretty much seen. We thought we've seen it all. We thought so. And we love animals. We are both animal lovers. Yes. Yes. We love playing with the animals if they're out. Mm -hmm. No problem. Except, but <laughs> nobody told us. Nobody. We weren't prepared. It's just you, you. just don't see it every day. No. You hear about it. It's not scary. It was just strange. You hear about it, but you you don't you you never think that one day in your life you're mm -hmm. actually going to come in contact with something like this. So we went out on the porch. We're showing this house, and we get to the screened-in porch, which yep. was really large and really nice. And there was a huge cage, like a three-story cage. One of those bird cages for. Big bird. Yeah, like in the corner, and you'd think there'd be a bird in there. Yep. Or an iguana. Pterodactyl. Something. something. Oh, there was something. There was something. It was a squirrel. <laughs> they had a squirrel. A squirrel. Their pet squirrel. Their pet squirrel. And they were on acreage, so they had a lot of land. Right. But of all things to have in a cage, why a squirrel? I mean, I, I expected like a ferret maybe or something, but there was a little bushy tailed squirrel sitting in there. I don't... He seemed pretty happy. He did. He didn't <laughs> seem like he was abused. And maybe he was a rescue squirrel or... I don't, I don't know how know. you'd find maybe abuse on a squirrel. I don't know. <laughs> sure there's a number to it's call. It's traumatized squirrel abuse. What enter squirrel abuse. <laughs> it's very traumatized squirrel. But he seemed like he was happy, old, go lucky, just kind of sitting in there. Not, I don't know. Maybe they rehabilitated him. Maybe he was, I don't know, dropped out of a maybe nest or he was, Maybe he was one of those... Um, <laughs> You know, like, sec not security animals. An emotional what? support squirrel? An emotional support squirrel. <laughs> Anything could be. <laughs> you don't know. I. They could have bonded with the squirrel they in the backyard. Hey. Isn't a squirrel just like a big rat with a fuzzy tail? In my eyes. Yeah. I in wouldn't. that cage. But it. <laughs> I think that was what shocked us. It's a big, big cage. Like you said, it was on it, the back lanai. They didn't want him to feel confined. Right. So they made sure that he had enough He had room a condo. He did have a condo. He had a condo, a squirrel condo, <laughs> um, with a little squirrel hammock. Mm-hmm. And plenty of nuts and food. <laughs> <laughs> I love our job. I, I, <laughs> this stuff does really happen to us. We do see unique features. I mean, it's not always funny things or scary things that happen. There's unique things and mm -hmm. things you don't see every day. And we just want to share that with you so you guys feel like you're a part of our day. Isn't that exciting? And now you know. <laughs> now you know, now we know. We honestly, we just can never unsee that. No. Well, thanks guys. This was an episode of This Really Happens in Real Estate. We'll see you next time. <laughs>